What's up everybody, I'm going to Power and today we just hit a hundred thousand views so I thought in celebration of that we would open up the most premium and grand, I guess, most premium product I have which would be the Shaman V-Star Premium Collection. Eight in total packs, a Shaman V-Star and a Shaman V. I've never actually opened up a, I don't know if I've ever opened a premium, co premium collection from Sword and Shield on this channel. So this will be my first time actually opening this. No, I have, I've hit the, I've opened up the heavy hitters. But this will be the first time I'm opening up the Shaman uh, V-Star. It apparently does come with one uh, V-Star marker, that, 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 that matters. Put that up right there. I mean, the coolest card out of this whole entire Oh no, man down. Man down. Hold on. Okay, there. Because of it there. We do have the uh, Jumbo, which will not stay on screen. And then the eight in total uh, packs, which I will go through those in a minute. Okay. Let's take a look at the uh, two cards. Actually, let me bring the camera down just a little bit just so it's easier for me to show them off. Please do take the code card, but only take one code card. We do have the Shaman V and the uh, V Star from the main collection. So these aren't promos. These are actually cards from the set. So I will put those off. And we will look at the uh, sets you get. How does this work? All right. So you get two Fusion Strike, my least favorite Sword and Shield set, two Lost Origin, and four in total Astral Radiance. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to start with... Oh, to keep them action. Sorry if it's taking me a little bit. I just have to figure this out. Start with Fusion Strike. Try to hit that Mew or... Uh, Gengar? What's the other one? Is there an Espeon still in this set? I don't 100% remember. This is four to the front still. Lightning Energy. Delcaddy. Zerud. Primate. Geodude. Suzuki. Klefki. Hand Sage. Wulu. We have a reverse. Rare or a coral, and we start out with a Bolton V. So my least fair set at least stepping up and putting in a single ultra rare. Not anything spectacular. What would that, I was gonna say? What was that packer? Because if it was a Bolton, suspicious that that opened that easy. I did buy this from a Walmart a little while ago, so it has been sitting in my collection for... It's been sitting in my collection since December. I mean, these cards do feel a little, like, rough on the edges. I mean, that could just be any reason why, but I'm not 100% sure. We have a Glaring Daramaka, NDD. Growlithe, I don't know why my brain blanked. Phalanx. I forget that you can get trainer gallery things, I think. And we just have a cloister, but why do the... Feels so like rough on the edges. I don't know. Next, we are going to... What's in this set? Is this the... Aerodactyl. I would love that. I highly doubt we're going to hit the Aerodactyl, but... We could see that. Ooh, sorry. Upside down code card. Not easy for y'all to take. Let's see. We have a Psychic Energy. Electric. A Su- uh, Yeah, Sui uh, Slagu. Roserade. Slugma. Clefairy. Rosa. Oh, okay, just skipping three cards in one. Wow. Inkay, we have a, it's a weird, like, why does it look, 
Hmm. Feels like the print run on these, like, this feels like it's faded almost looking. I don't know how to explain it, but these cards look weird even in person. I'm not sure why. Some noise outside, not sure what that is, but whatever. We have continuing. It just feels weird to me how these cards are. I'm not sure if it's just me and I'm off, just feeling off a little bit. So let's hopefully see if we can actually hit something more than just a V star, but not V star, bolt on a V. I mean, you are guaranteed the V star shaman and V, so I mean, that does count as something. We have a Litleo, amazing. We have a gift energy and we do have a Viola Plume. Hollow, so not bad. One hollow, one V. Nothing too spectacular yet. We have one of no we don't. Nothing spectacular yet. We could potentially see. I'm honestly not sure if I remember this set very much. I mean some of these sword and shield sets I did skip doing like mass openings up because I didn't have any good luck with them. I mean, why waste my money and why spend my money on something I know I wasn't going to potentially have fun on, like opening. I'd rather get the sets I like and open. Quillfish. Uh, Sui Growlithe and a Glaceon non Hollow. Really? We're going to strike out at eight packs so far and get absolutely nothing? Come on, one more V. Or V Max. No, no, not V Max. V Star? I don't honestly remember if there's any uh, V Maxes in these sets. That would be a cool one to get in for. I know there is one, but. I see something. I don't know what I see, but I definitely see a Black Border card. Hippotopitus. Hasui Growlithe. And we do have a Hasuian. Sneeze of our V. So we do have one more V card. I was hopeful for it to be a four, but that was just too much hope. Come on. Just one. Ooh. Hopefully I didn't damage the card, but I almost dropped him. Okay, so we have a V star. Hate those. Don't like them. I don't know why they exist. Ponyard. Growlithe. Voltorb. We have a Rufflet. We have a Radiant Halucha. Which seems a little weird to me. And Vespa Queen. Does it seem miscut? Does it seem like the borders are thicker than normal? Am I going absolutely insane? Might be. My glasses are also falling off my face. I might just be going crazy. I don't know why. I feel like there's something off about these packs. Last pack magic. You know what? Figure out how to get that code card. I'm not flipping that one. I saw something. Sweet honey. Do, uh, do what? Glam meow. Chat hot. Swine up. Really cute. Swine up. Ponyta. That water's too clear. There should not be a reflection in that water. Cricket hot. We have a Mighty Anna a trainer gallery card, and we do have a full art in this. Okay. That's actually really cool, a Sui Ligand. Uh, Lilligant. V. Okay. Ending it off with a uh, really cool pull. Um, thank you for 100,000 views. Just wanted to say that I'm very happy that we managed to actually be able to hit that this year. I was very hopeful that we were going to be able to. But just wanted to say thank you to everyone that subscribed, likes these videos, and watched them. Because without y'all, 
I wouldn't be here even doing this, opening up products like this for y'all. I mean, at this point, I am continuing to do this because I love my community that much. But that's going to be it. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm signing out. Bye.